In Ukraine, troops are making progress against Russia. Ukrainian forces have reportedly pushed Russian troops further back and regained territory. This comes as the U.S. announces more aid for Ukraine. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest from Washington. A major breakthrough for Ukraine in the country's southern Kyrgyzstan region. Their troops forcing the collapse of a large part of Russia's front line. Russian military bloggers reporting Russian troops have abandoned the entire northeastern end of the line. One former Russian commander saying their units had to retreat to avoid being encircled. Some military analysts predicting if President Vladimir Putin's troops fail to quickly stabilize in the area, Russian forces there will be in danger of imploding. The entranceways or the areas leading into the Don or leading towards Crimea are critically important for the uh, for the Russians because if they lose Crimea, Putin will fall. Ukraine's achievement comes after a series of military successes in the northeast, as well as in areas Russia illegally annexed a few days ago. Some observers saying it's now likely impossible for Putin to achieve his military objective. The uh, systemic failures of the uh, Russian military mean that they're going to be no doing no better than the uh, than the armies that they've done uh, in the past. Already more than 355,000 Russians have escaped their country to avoid Putin's military draft, according to Russian independent media. I basically had to leave my family, friends, loved ones, basically everyone. Meanwhile, President Biden spoke to Ukrainian President Zelensky to announce a new $625 million security assistance package. It'll include weapons and equipment, including more HIMAR rocket systems, which have been a huge success for Ukrainians on the battlefield. A U.S. defense official tells ABC News the first of the long-range weapons in that new aid package could be in Ukrainian hands within a week. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.